Nola Gent here at Saki Cafe. Good times in here, yeah. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our restaurant review vlog, we are visiting Saki Cafe Uptown, which is a Japanese restaurant in New Orleans that is popular for their sushi happy hour. Saki Cafe is located in the Uptown neighborhood of New Orleans at 2830 Magazine Street, which is about 10 minutes and 3 miles away from the French Quarter. Magazine Street is a very busy street as it is one of the main economic arteries of New Orleans with lots of restaurants, bars, and other businesses. So there's frequently a lot of traffic and people out and about here, so it's a nice little area. But parking is at a premium, and Saki Cafe is one of the few places on Magazine Street with free off-street parking. We're going to be taking advantage of the Sushi Happy Hour at Saki Cafe today, so you're invited to eat with me sushi in this Japanese restaurant review video as we enjoy some New Orleans sushi. Our restaurant review videos will be exploring New Orleans style Japanese food in this Japanese food review video as we look for the best sushi lunch and dinner spots as you eat with me Japanese food. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. And you see they have the mandatory placemat with their name on it. And then we're going to go to the second door here and we'll be inside the restaurant. So you walk in, go to the hostess station and they quickly take you to a table. This footage was filmed when we had just gotten out of a mask mandate, but they still didn't have any seating available at the sushi bar where I usually would sit. So I'm going to be at a table right next to the sushi bar. And as we sit down and take a look around this restaurant, they have quite a very decorated restaurant here with a lot of modern aesthetics. So it definitely is a very contemporary design with a lot of bling bling wherever you look. So that's in stark contrast to a lot of the other historic buildings that are surrounding it. So you definitely get a much different experience here than you do at a lot of the other area restaurants. This is a very large restaurant as they also have an upstairs dining area which is currently closed so I wasn't able to get up there. And I've spent most of my time in this restaurant here at the sushi bar. And they do have some very interesting chandeliers in here. And just in the downstairs, they have a very large number of dining tables. And then when you add on the upstairs dining tables, you really can get a lot of people in here. Well, let's go ahead and check out the menu and see what we're gonna get. So we start out with kitchen appetizers, which are typically going to be cooked items with squid steak, baked half shell oyster, Asian barbecue ribs, rock shrimp tempura, goat cheese gyoza, wok fried calamari, stuffed jalapeno, edamame, gyoza, shumai, shrimp tempura, hamachi, kama, sake, kama, chicken spring roll, screaming shrimp, baked salmon, hot appetizer sampler. Then we have our sushi bar appetizers, which can include uncooked items. Yazuhama, Hamachi Delight, Ahi Tuna and Gochi, Seared Tuna and Avocado, Never Bored Tuna, Tuna Tataki, Caribbean Style Ceviche, Tuna Cake, TNT, Yellowtail and Jalapeno Salsa, Cold Appetizer Sampler, Yummy Yummy Tuna, Tropical Salmon. And then soups, Creamy Mushroom Soup, Gyozo Soup, Chicken Fire Pot Soup, that's a really good item, Miso Soup, Crawfish Corn Soup, Garden Vegetable Soup. And then we have salads of various types. And then we have our entrees of Karuma Shrimp, Akita Snapper, Thai Style Tilapia, Sushi Sashimi Dinner, Teriyaki with Beef Chicken Salmon, Tempura with Shrimp Chicken Vegetable Combo, then Udon, Tempura Udon, Nebiyaki Udon, and Yaki Udon. Side orders are pineapple fried rice, mango fried rice, pad thai, sake cafe fried rice, and then bento box lunch specials with chicken teriyaki, beef or salmon teriyaki, chicken or crab meat tempura, shrimp tempura, sushi, and sashimi. On the next page, we have our items from the sushi bar with sushi and sashimi, sushi box, roll and hand rolls, and their sake cafe special rolls. On the next menu, we get into beverages, and then the most important menu for our visit today, the happy hour menu, which is daily, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., dine-in only. So for appetizers, we have edamame, wok fried calamari, chicken spring roll, gyoza shumai, goat cheese gyoza, then sushi and sashimi, crab stick, octopus, eel, tuna, fresh salmon, whitefish, mackerel, shrimp, roll and hand roll, 
avocado roll, vegetable roll, California roll, cucumber roll, crunchy roll, crawfish roll, snow crab roll. And then we have our bottled beers, alcoholic beverages, special cocktails, hot sake, house wine, and draft beers. So I ordered a chicken spring roll for my appetizer from the happy hour menu, and it's got a side of duck sauce and uh, hot spicy mustard I love so much. So I like to mix them up and make a little combo dipping sauce. And I enjoy the spicy and sweet contrast of the flavors. So this is a decent little appetizer and it is uh, pretty tasty. It's got a lot of nice vegetables in there with a little bit of chicken. I really like the crunchiness of this dish. So it's got the crunchy crust on the outside and then you've got more crunchiness from the vegetables on the inside. So it's all got a nice little texture on your mouth and you contrast the outer skin layer that's fried with the inner vegetable layer that gives a little Nice contrast and different layers of the flakiness in the outside and even greater crunchiness on the inside, which all pairs up really well, I think, with these two sauces. So it is a uh, very pleasant thing to bite into and the flavors on your tongue dance around and it's quite a nice dish. And I do enjoy starting out with a good spring roll like this. So just like I destroyed those spring rolls, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Next, I got a nice big plate of all kinds of things from the sushi bar. I got octopus sashimi, a California roll, a snow crab roll, and a crawfish roll. So let's dig in right here. So there's some good avocado on this roll. So I think this is the California roll and they definitely did a nice amount of avocado on here. Here's the crawfish roll that's also got avocado in it. So that's a good amount of crawfish in here. So the happy hour special is the main time that I'll come here and they do give you a generous amount of food in here. Here's the snow crab roll. So this uh, looks like it's probably the fake crab instead of the real crab. And that's what you typically get, it seems, that most of the sushi restaurants these days are gonna get some of this octopus sashimi. So this is a decent little spread of food for a sushi happy hour. Now, uh, the Saki Cafe sushi to me is typically a lot more on the bland side, and it's pretty simple. They don't really do a lot of the more creative uh, rolls than a lot of the other newer sushi places will do these days. They generally stay a little more on the simpler side and I find the taste is overall generally pretty bland so I need to bling it up. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this wasabi on here. Spice things up a little bit because hey, you know I do like a little spice and burn in my food. So I don't like it when it's all bland and not having a little kick to it. And uh, here we go with a little or on top of my California roll. Now they uh, certainly overall have pretty generously sized rolls here and they put quite a good amount of meat on here for the happy hour. So I think for happy hour, this is a pretty good deal, but there's other sushi restaurants that I typically frequent for regular lunch and regular dinner hours. But if you're in the area, this is certainly a great thing to check out for happy hour, and there's also happy hour drink prices to check out as well, which adds to the fun. Unfortunately for this happy hour experience, I've got more stuff and work I've got to do today, so I can't indulge in any adult beverages yet. So we're not gonna be able to sample any of those good items. Now they do have one of the largest wine menus in any sushi place I've ever seen here. So they do have quite a generous uh, selection of beverages. And uh, sometimes at night, this place was operating as a nightclub for a while. Although I don't think they're doing that currently with the ongoing situation in the world at the moment. However, they at least still do the sushi happy hour, which is uh, one bright spot at least for us to look forward to in our ongoing shutdowns, reopenings, re-shutdowns, re, re mandates. So the ever revolving door of we never know what's gonna happen next. And I also noticed that the happy hour special was rather sparsely populated. 
so that is another big change from the normal world we used to live in. The happy hour used to bring in quite a decent sized crowd and there's most certainly not many people in here today. Hopefully as uh, things go and keep changing and evolving we'll get uh, more things a little bit back to normal so we'll see how things develop. In the meantime, we have some uh, great little sushi rolls to dig into and feast on this wonderful little bite right here that's got a huge portion of a little spicy kick of that wonderful green stuff. Although, legend says that the green stuff's mostly actually made out of horseradish as real wasabi is actually quite expensive and really hard to find at most restaurants in the U.S. All right, we've got one last roll to take down. Let's see, ooh, so this is a nice little finish here. We don't have any more of the uh, pseudo wasabi to eat and ooh, okay. And now we're gonna clean up our plate totally and take down this ginger that's also got a nice burn. Now, so far in my life, as far as I know, I've never had real wasabi myself. And I look forward to trying that. And oh, that ginger's good. And one more little bite to cleanse my palate for this wonderful little sushi happy hour. So just like I destroyed the sushi, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this sushi happy hour. And would you kindly, while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because, hey, I work for tips and appreciate any assistance with that. So the total for my sushi happy hour was $23.42 before tip. Thanks so much to Saki Cafe for maintaining their wonderful sushi happy hour. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagen channel, especially to my Patreons. Would you kindly remember to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it? Make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.